So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Where do I even start? Don't forget, today is construct day. I should explore as much as I can right now. What's the best thing to start with? <sighs> this is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Batch, and it looked like we were on track. And now? I was slightly off base. We're over a month behind target. Hey, we're doing important work. Time is part of the cost of progress. Should I check out? Hmm. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. See what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. 
Not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Yeah, hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore, but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Genetic bacteria are really something else, aren't they? They are, they are. And get this. Well, I could do this forever. But I should get to the second floor to meet up with Harry. cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. And coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. I could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Uh, gotta think this through before signing on. What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Ooh, fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. 
separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. On your left! Another prank. Please, I don't need the stress this week. Huge building full of scientists with prestigious <laughs> doctoral degrees. And not a single one of them knows how to factory reset a workstation with a faulty RAM chip. Veronica, Honestly, this whole operation would come to a complete standstill without me. But instead of saying, make sure oh, you take sure about the really save the day. Such great stuff here. But it's time to meet Harry. Is a beach? No Didn't get your fill of sand from the Sandman attack? You know what this one here? I need relaxing sand, not stressful sand. Make sure everybody's everybody sees it. Okay, sounds good. Veronica, please give us security damage. My dad's in town visiting this weekend. Yeah, these are nice. You should have the right readings. The Emily May Foundation is working on a proposal to renovate and expand the city's aqueduct system, starting with the Central Park Reservoir, to efficiently provide clean water to everyone in the five boroughs. That looks... familiar. Oh, this is a new form, if that's what you're thinking. It's decommissioned. We just want to know if there's anything to be learned from it for an alternate, safe energy source. Good to know. energy we are trying to harness it in a way that is beneficial that would be a good trick good luck the problem is these red markers why do they dry out faster than the others because you overuse them? Why do you have to make everything red? Focus. So, P2X. Deployment and logistics. That's not the problem. Then what is it? It's the effectiveness at scale. There's not enough surplus energy to replace fossil fuels. Okay. So the problem is effectiveness at scale. Well, that's one of our problems. 
I don't make everything red. I really think we need more security. Really? We're a safe the world now. Welcome to Agriculture Research. Sander, please come to the front desk to pick up your RF badge. This laboratory is currently the testing ground for our GMO crops, examining real-world productivity and nutritional content in plants that have been optimized for specific temperature or water-stressed environments. This is where science meets real-world conditions, getting us one step closer to literally feeding the planet. steps that we have to go yeah, to I think it's sustainable. Yeah. Really. So, so you're saying they were showing the, the, the crop policy? Again, yeah. the ranges are too broad and our watering okay. systems require... Danny, I just want to show you guys some produce back. Now can we please go get some lunch? We don't hurry, they'll run out. Science doesn't wait for things up. Attention. Good news, the, the variable on the photos and the suspects is presenting no okay. Scientists, they sure are messy. Huh, no doubt about that. This place wouldn't run. This place is pretty amazing. But I should go find Harry. Emily May Foundation, this is Blair. Sure thing, let me just pull up his calendar. For Would next Tuesday at 11 a.m. work? And do you have our address? I, I know Perfect. the numbers for the anoxygenic bacteria. These are science projects by Brooklyn Vision students. Love this community outreach. Too bad I don't work there anymore. taking place in the atrium throughout the day. So please, be aware. Emily May Foundation, this is Blair speaking. Oh, Diego, perfect timing. I definitely... All right. <laughs> uh, must be a sign because I... Awesome. Uh, so I've got some more forms I need to prepare, but we are hoping... Ring warm. Hey, Shana, how's the weather? Hope he's not being too grabby. Puppy pill, we can give our little fur baby. I'll make sure the dog won't Welcome to the Enemy Foundation. Harry is really thinking big. I better get up there to see what else he's up to. I, I know the numbers for the anoxygenic bacteria. Time 
insurance from the agricultural law? I'm still taking out an extra insurance policy. In case of... You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's okay. being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. So, I don't think I ever now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. And you see, if you let me be the base of the nervous system and end the degree of the which you extract. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm hmm Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen. I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course.
Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. <laughs>